Hi guys, my name is Quentin and today we're going to be talking about how to create an educator and student account and how to get started with a few simple lessons. So first off we're going to go off by creating an educator account. We're going to go to the upper right hand corner and click join now. Um, you're going to click the blue button that says educator start here. Um, you're going to continue making an educator account and certify that you're an educator. Once you do that, you can sign up with uh, your email, Google, or Apple. So I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in real quick. Alrighty, once you're signed in, uh, you're going to come to your dashboard. And this dashboard is where you'll be able to create new designs, and it'll just be the central hub of your project. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a class for your students to join. So you're going to go up, up here and click Classes. And we're going to hit Create a New Class. We're going to name this RDL. You're going to select the grade that you're going to be teaching, and you're going to select your subject. So we're going to do robotics. All right. So once we have our uh, classroom, you're going to have to go through and add your students. So I'm going to add myself. Give the nickname. Uh, it automatically gets you a nickname. So we're just going to copy and paste that, and we're going to save changes. So once you have your student added, they'll now be able to join from the class code. So we're going to copy this class code, uh, share this class code with your students, and they'll be able to join your class very easy. So I'm going to log out real quick and show you how to join from a student perspective. So for students, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to click Join Now, and they're going to go to uh, Students Join a Class, and they're going to copy and paste that code. So what you're going to want to do is uh, when, you go, when your teacher assigns you a class, it will auto put out a nickname. So I'm going to copy and paste the nickname that it gave me, and you're going to click That's Me. Now you've loaded up into a dashboard, and your teacher will be able to join your classes from there. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to teach you how to go through the lessons and just some of the simple movements that uh, you can learn through Tinkercad. So on the left-hand side, we're going to click Lessons, go to Learn. All right, so what we're going to do is there's about 10 different starters. And first off, we're going to start off with Place It. So place it allows you just to learn how to place the blocks. So Tinkercad, you know, is used to build all types of creations by adding and removing shapes from the design workplace. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop a cube into the highlighted area. And once you do that, you're going to click next and you're going to get the stars. So once you finish with your first lesson, we're going to go to the second one. And so the second lesson lesson is how to view from the different sides of your cube. So the view cube, which is located at the top left of your screen, you'll be able to use that to move around your cube. So first off, what we're going to do, is we're just going to left click and drag anywhere. As you can see, it's rotating the cube around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try clicking specific areas in the upper left hand cube. So as you can see, it will snap it to the desired area you want to see. And then you can also do like top view, bottom view, side view, front and right, and back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to zoom. Uh, with a mouse, you, you'll just use the scroll wheel. And for students with using a touchpad, you'll, use, uh, you'll zoom using a gesture that you'll normally use in other apps. So I have a mouse, so I'm just going to scroll in. As you can see, you can see the front. Next up, we're going to try uh, only using your mouse or touchpad. So now we're going to press and hold the right mouse button while moving your mouse to practice rotating your view of your design. So what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag around. Now if you're using a touchpad, you can either press control and left click while you drag or simply right click and drag if you have your touchpad set up for accepting right clicks. All right, we just learned how to view a cube in uh, Tinkercad. So we're going to move on to the next lesson. So this lesson is talks about how to move shapes around the work plane. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click and drag each cube to the desired area. So your right cube, you're going to move to the orange square up top. Your upper left hand cube, you're going to move to the same area. And you're going to repeat this step 
until you're finished with all the cubes. Once you're finished, you click next. And now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to move it upwards. So in order to move it upwards, we are going to click and hold the arrow icon at the top of the selected shape to lift off the work plane right here. So we're going to move the cube along the z-axis and we're going to match it up with where the cubes currently are. Once you finish your thing, click next and you'll get your stars and now you can move on to the next one. So our next lesson, we're going to learn how to rotate the shape. So what we're going to do is first we're going to click the box by left clicking the shape and then we're going to see this little arrow up top and what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it to 45 degrees. Now you can either drag it to 45 degrees where you're actually able to type it. So to move this one right, we have to go negative. This one right here, you're going to click the bottom area and you're going to rotate it along the 45 degrees. And this one right here, you're going to click this side. So we're going to have to rotate a little bit. And we're going to rotate this one also 45 degrees. And that's how you learn how to rotate shapes. Alright, so our next lesson is learning how to change the sizes of your shape. So we're going to drag and drop our box in. And now we're going to click it. So what we're going to do is what we're going to click is the black handles on the bottom edge of each shape to move it in a single direction. So we're going to use, click this one to move it that way, and we're going to click the left side of the shape to move it the other ways. And we're going to do the same thing with these right here. So we're going to rotate around, click the black handle, and drag it backwards. Now for this one, we're going to have to drag it this way, and then drag it this way. Once you finish, click next. And now you're finished. So the next lesson of what we're going to learn is how to group objects together. So first let's drag just two different shapes. Let's do a cube and we'll do a cylinder. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it on top of the shape and what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift, click both of the objects, and then up in the upper left hand corner you're going to hit group or you can also click control G. This will group the two objects together and bring it to one color. Now if you want to make a hole, what we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this and we're going to turn this to a uh, hole so it makes it transparent and what we're going to do is we're going to make it a little bit taller and we're going to drag it down to the bottom and now once you group these two objects together it will create a hole in the cylinder just like that All right, in, le in this lesson, we're going to learn how to copy and paste objects instead of makes it easier instead of having to duplicate it and make different ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the shape. We're going to hit copy up here, or you can hit control C. And then we're going to click over here and we're going to click paste. Now what you do is you're just going to drag your object to your desired location. So we're going to move it right here and we're going to do that three times. So we're going to move this one here and this one here. And that's how you copy and paste objects in Tinkercad. Next up we're going to learn how to duplicate. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag an object and we're going to click it and we're going to go up here 
to hit duplicate and repeat. So what this does is the shape will be placed exactly on top where the reference shape is and you can drag it out just like you would have copy and pasted. So once duplicated, the shape has been placed and you can move and modify the duplicated shape and then press the duplicate icon again to create another copy with the change applied again. While it's selected, make the change, so duplicate it, so let's, uh, we're, what we're going to do with this one, we're going to make it taller. And we're going to duplicate it again, and now it's even taller. So what duplicating does, will it will keep giving very different height. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to hide an object. So first off, we're going to click by selecting this red box. And you'll see up here where you see the little uh, light bulb. We're going to click the light bulb and it will make the object uh, disappear. In order to bring that object back up, we're going to select show all and now your key will be back up on your screen. Alright, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to align three different cubes together. So what we're going to do, is we're going to put three cubes out. Now we're going to select all three boxes by holding shift. And then we're going to go up to the upper right hand corner and click align. So aligning just allows everything to be kind of in the same plane. So what we're going to do, is you're going to click this dot and it's going to line up with all of these. But we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we can have each cube a line up of two different ones. So we can have these line up like centered. And you can put them all both in the middle if you would like. So now since we are completed with the lessons, uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to actually design a RDL chassis in Tinkercad.